When you see your provider, there are three main tests that can be done to help diagnose if it's a urinary tract infection. Where the first test they'll do, which is a really quick test in the office, is called a urinary dipstick, which will tell us if there's something called leukocyte esterase, nitrate, or blood that could be found in your urine. And if those things come back positive, those could be a sign that there is a urinary tract infection. If it's completely clear, that means there's probably not and something else is going on. The next step is they'll send the sample to a lab where they'll do a urine analysis, where someone in the lab will look under a microscope and see if there's white blood cells, red blood cells, cells, how many of each, if there's bacteria in the urine, because there should be no bacteria in the urine. But the most accurate way and most information that we'll be getting is when we send the urine for a urine culture, where they will see in a couple days to make sure what bacteria actually grows, how much grows, and which antibiotics work. Because what can happen is that maybe you have a bacteria that's resistant. And so after two days on antibiotics, you're not feeling better. Well, now your provider has an information and what antibiotics can actually work. So in order to make sure that you do actually have a urinary tract infection and that you're getting the right treatment for it, it's important to get tested and make sure you get all of that information. 